Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Please ignore this. I look like a hot mess, but it's fine. This is my last day night in Miami. I'm so sad about it. So to cheer myself up, we're gonna go book shopping and I figured I would take you guys with me. I can literally only buy like one book. I pretty much can't even fit that one book in my case to go home. <laughs> I will show you guys the situation when we get back. But I really just wanted to go. It's like, it doesn't feel right to me to leave without going to the specific Barnes & Noble because I have done it on every visit to Miami so far. So I've just called my Uber. Let's go book shopping together. Love this for us. Yeah. Okay, I'm back. I really wanted to go to the beach as well, but um, I bought three books, so I think I'm gonna save the cost of the Uber for the beach and save it for getting to the airport tomorrow. But I did get the one book I was going in there for um, and two others that I was not going in there for. There was also a third one that I, well, a fourth one, should I say, that I did want, but I figured it wasn't like top of the list. So the book I went in there for is The Troop by Nick Cutter. This is like a, thriller horror i've heard it's supposed to be really disturbing and it's basically a scout master that takes a group of scouts to this i think it's like an island in canada um for like a camping trip and while they're there this like emaciated person stumbles into their camp and everyone's a bit like what the fuck and i think it turns out that he's like a cannibal and i think like he has some kind of virus that is like makes him eat people and the virus then spreads and yeah i've heard this is actually horrifying then i saw this one which is called nothing but blackened teeth by cassandra core this is only a tiny diddy little horror but it sounds really creepy and just look at that cover so i figured because we're getting into spooky season soon these will be like perfect for then and then i forgot this came out i couldn't resist i had to pick up love on the brain by ali hazelwood um even though i still haven't read the love hypothesis yet but i do have it on my tbr at home so i figured i'd pick this up as well while it was there um we all know what this is about so i'm not going to go into great detail but yeah just a short little vlog from me today but i hope you guys enjoyed it i am going to settle down with some netflix i think now i still really want to go to the beach i feel like i'm letting myself down if i don't go but then also i'm very aware that i just spent like 50 dollars on books so i'm also like i probably shouldn't go um so we'll see what i end up doing but yeah tbd on the beach but i kind of i don't know maybe we'll end up just heading over there for a little while um and then i'm gonna watch some netflix order myself some chick-fil-a for like one final chick-fil-a night and then settle in for an early night because i am not going to sleep for about 34 hours <laughs> from tomorrow morning um my flight home is overnight and i can't sleep on planes so i will be 7 a.m miami time through to 11 30 10 30 11 30 p.m the following day uk time so yeah it amounts to about 32 34 hours it's gonna be it's gonna be a long one so i am definitely going to do an early night curl up and just watch some netflix and chill um but yeah it's feeling very bittersweet right now i feel really sad about leaving i'm not ready to go even though i've been here for two months i feel very very sad right now um but yeah, it's been a wonderful summer and I know I haven't been so consistent with the uploads as I wanted to be, but I've just been busy like seeing my friends, having a bit of a life that I don't tend to get at home and um, 
just embracing being back where I'm happiest. Um, so yeah, very bittersweet, but it needed to be done. I do have to go, we can't stay, so. <laughs> I'm gonna stop rambling now, but I hope you guys have enjoyed this quick little video. Please subscribe if you are new. I will see you in the next one very soon. I will be home. I've got two hauls coming up, two ridiculous hauls actually. And then I'm gonna be doing some fun reading challenges throughout September. So definitely keep an eye out for those. Anyway, this really is goodbye. I will see you back in the UK. Bye guys.